Hello guys, today I will demonstrate to you a package to generate the majority of your CRUD in Laravel. One of the packages, there are quite a few of those packages, including our own quickadminpanel.com, which is more visual, but Blueprint is one of the popular ones, and I'm quite surprised that I haven't reviewed it on this channel previously in the past, and it comes from the same author, Jason McCreary, who created Laravel Shift, and let's see how it works. So the logic is that it generates your controllers, models, and other files from this file. Kind of like a JSON or it's another syntax, it's YAML file. YAML, if we take a look at Wikipedia, is a human readable data serialization language. So instead of having JSON or XML or something, YAML is more humanly readable. So I've prepared a demo draft.yaml and this is the file name that should be used with Blueprint. And what you provide here, you provide the structure for your model. In this case, let's generate a project model with fields, name, string, description, text, like you would describe them in the migrations. But then you can also add nullable here and also add relationships. And it would generate from here both model and migration. And then also you can generate a controller with methods. For example, index, create, and store. And there is a syntax by blueprint, what to return, what to render, how to save, where to redirect to, and other syntax parameters and syntax structures, which are also human friendly as YAML file. So I've generated this file and to build the model and controller and also a few more files, all we need to do is run PHP Artisan Blueprint Build. We can specify another draft YAML file, but the default is draft.yaml. And if we run PHP Artisan Blueprint Build, what do we have? Created these files. Project controller factory migration model controller test request for the validation and blade files and also updated routes web. Let's check what's inside of them. If we start from the routes web, we have route resource, but also it specifies which methods are available. We only generated three methods. And if you want all methods, by the way, Laravel Blueprint has another syntax called shorthands for the controller if I open the documentation. And instead of doing index, create, store, show, edit, update, and destroy, you can just use resource. So there are a few tricks like that in Blueprint and you can read all in documentation. But in this case, we've generated three methods. Now what's inside of that controller? Remember, I didn't run make controller artisan command or anything. It's just by Blueprint. Index project all. And I see I've made a typo while copying it from the documentation. It should not be post. If we open draft YAML, this should be projects here. And it would have generated the correct syntax for projects here like this. So that is totally fine. Index create calls the view and store creates the record with request validated and not request all. And that is also the typo. It's not post index. It should be projects index probably. So here's the redirect parameter. And inside of that project store request, we should have name and description required because I've said so in the YAML file in the validate line. And I was the most curious about one thing, how Blueprint generates the blades. And this is what is the result. So extends layouts app, section projects index template. So it's kind of just like a draft code that you should replace with your own blade. So index blade and create blade, they are generated, but they are basically empty because Blueprint doesn't know what is your design, what is your layout. Do you use Tailwind or Bootstrap or whatever? So it doesn't work with the visuals. It works with the structure of Laravel project. What else do we need to take a look at? Project Factory. Project Factory has the definition of name, description, and published ad using the faker. Seems really good. And let's take a look at the model project class, which was also generated by Blueprint. Fillables are here. Great. Casts. Not sure if I would use the cast here, but it's generated and also the relationship. What about migration? We have projects table. And remember in YAML file, I listed only name, description, and published ad and relationships. In here, Blueprint generated automatically ID and timestamps without me doing it. And we have string, text, and timestamp here nullable. The only downside here, I don't see it has generated user ID for the relationship. Maybe I've missed something in the syntax, not sure. So it generated the relationship in the model, but not in the migration. Finally, it generated a feature test with these methods, index displays view, trying to get the view and asserting that the view is correct. 
and the view has the correct data or in fact it should be projects variable here also test the displays view store it just checks that the store uses form request store saves and redirects basically a feature test to test if everything goes according to the plan it uses additional assertions and it's underlined because it comes from jmac testing and i probably haven't installed that but i just wanted to show you the idea that the automated test the feature test is also generated so yeah that's laravel shift blueprint in a nutshell what it generates of course it gets more deeper so you can read the official documentation and if you want more visual stuff so the blueprint takes care of models controllers and factories and tests but if you want to generate it with blade views, I can advertise our own quick admin panel, which is a visual way. So you don't need to create YAML file or anything. You just click create CRUD menu item. Also IDs and timestamps and soft deletes are by default here. And you type in projects, add more fields. It may be auto suggested from your previous project. So you add name, you add a relationship here belongs to and stuff like that and then it is generated for you as a full new laravel project so you don't have to run laravel new locally that's why we called it quick admin panel so we use ourselves by the way for demo projects generate the full laravel project with this visual editor generator and then continue working locally in php storm so check out quickadminpanel.com or laravel shift blueprint if you prefer that way of generating the code that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.